Claudia Steele is a prominent international artist whose work has earned her awards in etching, oil, watercolor, paintings, and photography. Her prints have been in group exhibitions that have traveled to Singapore, Thailand, Berlin, Sweden, and Mexico. She has also exhibited in prestigious museums and galleries, including the De Young, the San Francisco Museum of Art, the Oakland Museum, the Seattle Art Museum, the Tokyo Museum, and the Barbican Center in London. Mrs. Steele was born in Van Nuys, California on March 19, 1918. Her family moved to Chico in 1924. Her art teacher at Chico High School, Angela Stansberry, suggested that Claudia submit one of her paintings to a juried show at Chico State College. It was accepted and thus began a long and rewarding life in the arts. After graduating from Chico High, she received a trustee scholarship to Mills College in Oakland. She earned her BA in art and a secondary teaching degree from UC Berkeley. In the summer of 1940, she took courses in ceramics, metals, and weaving at the College of Arts and Crafts in Oakland. In 1941, she married Dr. Lowell Steele. The couple uh, lived in San Francisco, Oakland, and Washington, D.C., before returning to Chico in 1956 with their three children. In 1957, at the end of a trip to Europe with her husband, she stayed on for a month with her sister in Paris to study at Le Grand uh, Chaumier. In 1967, she graduated from Mills College with her Master's of Fine Arts degree. Well, good morning, Claudia. Thank you for joining me and talking about art and your life in art. I think everybody would like to know how you began in art, since you've had a, such a long and wonderful career in art. What got you going in it? What sparked your interest? <coughs> well, Miss Stansberry at the, at the high school said, Claudia, you don't have to do the, what I'm teaching in the class. You just go ahead and do what you want to. And so you do. So then I did watercolors, I did lots of things. Finally she said, why don't you send him over to a jury show over at the college and try that? So I did it, I got in the show, and then I'd do different things that would encourage me. Stansberry would encourage me. I'd have a show in Chico and she'd come. And even Davis, some of the fellows from Davis came to see what I was doing. You were uh, in the, uh, living in the Bay Area in the 40s and the 50s, and uh, that was the time when uh, the Bay Area was very active in art. It was a point where there was uh, trying to rival New York as the center of art for not only America but for the world. And uh, you were, uh, I guess, part of a group called the Berkeley School. Mm -hmm. And that would uh, included uh, such well-known uh, people like Worth Ryder mm -hmm. and Carl Kasten and Rex Brandt. Mm -hmm. What was it like to be in that milieu at that particular time that was such a uh, tremendous period of art for California? Well, it was very exciting. And I studied under Mrs. P Miss Piggy Peterson at that time, and she was a fun to start with. And she liked my work very much. And then I was working with Worth Ryder, and he said, don't, don't teach, Claudia, just paint. You see what happens when you, you <laughs> teach? You can't paint anymore. Then we had Earl Laurent, Lauren that came for watercolors and knew wonderful watercolors and the first one and they all were supportive of what I was what I was doing. Was that where you met uh, Carl Kasten also? Yes, I'm Carl Kasten. Yes. He wanted to, he wanted to take me to the to the uh, dance, but I told him I was already being taken with my husband to be Carl Kasten. When I first moved up to Chico, I said, um, "Oh dear me, what will I do in Chico?" He said, that's fine, Claudia. You won't look like a Berkeleyite. You'll be yourself. Just go do your work. <laughs> it seems like you moved pretty much into printmaking in the early 60s, and that became more of the focus for you. Is well, I was always interested in the next, around the corner, what you could do. And I, we came to Ch back to Chico when I was in the 50s, mid-50s, and they built this modern, modern house of the 50s. Of, you know, and. Um, so then I've had my studio. I heard about Ken Morrow, 
And I thought, well, good, I'd like to learn how to print make. And so I'd been painting down there in Lafayette area, down there living there for a while. And, uh, but then this was gonna be fun. I'd done everything else. I try everything I can think of. And any medium is fun to play with and find out. And, and each medium belongs in its own category. And so <laughs> they don't carry over very much. You use it as it is. And so I, um, yes, I enjoyed there when I was working with uh, Ken. Very good. Ken was a wonderful teacher. He was lots of fun. And it was one of my pictures that I had. He said, Claudia, you better send that to the San Francisco Museum of Art, Modern Museum of Art, see if it gets in. He said, just put the price high just so you won't buy it <laughs> and put it in that show. Well, I put it in the San Francisco Museum of Art and uh, it got in and then it won an award. And so <laughs> Cunningham was there, it was a serigraph and they hadn't many serigraphs and she believed in serigraphs. So they get, I got the top award and it was in the book. So that was fun. But I that was, never thought of myself really as an artist. It was just having fun with it. Well, I, uh, you have uh, obtained a beautiful uh, printing press and you said you got that from New York uh, and uh, brought it out here and you now in your studio and... Uh, this, this is an etching press. Oh, yes. etching press. Yes. Yeah. And uh, is there any... In the 60s I brought it. Was there any... Uh, aspect of printmaking. Uh, you've tried almost all areas of printmaking, haven't you? Silk screen and etchings and collagraphs and... Oh there... yes, yeah, I'm always curious to what the next medium and I kept hearing people say you're very talented and I said how am I talented? You know, <laughs> what's a talent? <laughs> I'm not what these artists are. So I had good encouragement as I went along and I always remembered what I see and I pick out what I like to see in what I'm looking at. It's not, a very few have been exact. I have to really like that scene, but usually I maneuver it and work it out. Well, I remember you said one time that uh, if you want to paint realistically, take a photograph. Yes, I don't ever work for photographs, never work for pictures. We were told never to get the art books, don't ever read those. And when you go, go to museums only. Don't go to galleries because that's a set way of working. You go to the museums, pick up your inspiration from museums. And so I've done that. We've done museums all over the world. We traveled just about 37 countries. And if I had a new idea, I'd do it. There was no commitment that I had to do it a certain way. I could do it just as I felt about it. And I worked with how I felt about something as much as I did as how it visually looked. It ha and it had to be something that's gonna last. To, you can enjoy it 20 years from now or 30 years from now. It'll be a picture that holds, not just one that's gonna be decorative. I'm against all decorations. Well, you explore each one, and I like to explore art, I like to explore material, and uh, I just like art, and I like to do it. And I don't, feel, I don't feel whole or complete until I am doing it. I just feel lost and not uncomfortable, and that's the way it is right now where I am. I don't have this nice place to come up and come early morning, in the middle of the night, think, what do I do with that big white canvas out there now, big one? Well, Claudia, in my dreams, just go ahead and paint one big line and start from there. And so if you don't know what to do, just come paint a big line on the big field and then you begin. So that's what you do. Hi. This is the way we were working and the color was more important than anything else. And then to try to get the image. And of course we had to, we could show a woman it covered up, not covered up, where in Berkeley you had to be sure they were well covered, you see. Or if you came to Ber came to Chico, you couldn't do a nude at all. <laughs> that was against rules. But uh, this was, we just uh, putting color on and expressing what was there in front of you and doing it that way. And it's, it's an expression of what I saw. This is different. This is, again feels how it was to be on the boat. And people will say, come about, come about, and now we should hurry up, get ahead. They, we were in a race. And I, we spent the night before in a race, you know, overnight in my turn, and we were in the bay, was to say when we were to, to go across the line. And I, they say, are we ready to go yet? No, not yet. And I'd go back to doing, I was doing an etching of the boats at that time, sitting there in the boat. We spent the night in it. And, and so it, <laughs> so that this was just how it feels with this boat coming, somebody else coming. This is about here. <laughs> it's very exciting to be on a boat. This is a Little People. I named it Little People, and it's edition and named. And it was 
when everybody was so afraid of, of being bombed, and this was in that period of time, so I said, well, they could just go underground. And so here you see them all going underground, and here are the little people going down. One has an umbrella, and somebody has a go-kart, and they're just, they're, this is all destroyed above, and you're living below underground. That's what you need to do. <laughs> it's an eshy, and uh, I had fun with it. Thank <laughs> you.